Hi, everybody. Welcome to another round of the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. I am JB in the cage, setting the machine up for a pitcher who normally does the pitching. It's Michael Blazek of the Brewers. Michael, how you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, I'm excited to have you with us. I know the fans are as well, as social media is buzzed already about talking to Mr. Blazek. Here's the deal, folks. You know how the Edward Jones Chatting Cage works, and if you don't, I'll tell you, and then you'll know. Michael and I will be right here with you the whole time. You can get FaceTime with your favorite brewer. Michael, by launching your webcam and getting us right here in the cage. You, me, him, that's how the show works. Meanwhile, I'll go to social media, Twitter, Facebook. I think you've heard of them, perhaps, once or twice. They have questions that have also been sent in. I'm going to go there while you fire up the webcam. Let's get to it. Let's go with this one from LollyJoy02. Is it difficult going from one team in the division to another? Uh, not too much. Uh, you know, for me... Uh, my goal was just to play in the big league, so it was whoever wanted me to, whoever's going to give me the chance and give me the opportunity. So I was going to take it, but you know, maybe if you had some time in the big leagues, it might be a little weird. But uh, for me, it was just getting the opportunity, so not, not really. <laughs> got right to it and got to work. That's how it works, folks. This is the Edward Jones Chatting yeah. Cage. <laughs> Join us right here in the cage and get your FaceTime with Michael as uh, fans get their webcams fired up. This is how the cage works, and we get a fan right there. What's your name? Where you're from? What's your question? Um. Alex from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And my question was, out of the hitters that you faced, who is the toughest to get out? Uh, you know, I've, I've faced some, some pretty tough hitters so far. Um, you know, I have Trout, Pujols, McCutcheon. You know, I've, I've faced MVP so far in my, you know, early career. So I, I can't really say I've faced anyone really easy. Um, but I think the toughest so far would you know, obviously be, um, you know, Trout, maybe Pujols. That is a trio. That is a one, two, three. You don't want to face. That's pretty much an all-star lineup right there. Yeah. You've got Trout, Pujols, McCutcheon, <laughs> and you faced them all. Yeah. Uh, and you're still here to tell about. So that's a pretty good sign right there. We like that. That's how yeah, it works, folks. Yeah. So far, good. <laughs> <laughs> so far, so good. Get your webcam fired up. Join us just like Alex did. Get your question here in the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. Meanwhile, if you can, tweet it. Hashtag Chatting Cage, just like Xanderman34. There were 33 before him. And now there is this Xanderman. What do you think the most important lesson was that you learned as you came up in the minors, Michael? You know, it's, I think the biggest thing was a uh, mental focus and mental toughness. Um, you know, early on in my minor league career, I didn't really have to, to go through it and experience it, you know, because I had some success. So it was just, it was a little easier to go through it. Um, you know, once you start dealing with a little adversity and you, you realize that it's not easy to pitch at this level or even AAA or AA, um, you know, not getting too hard on yourself and, and beating yourself up. Um, I, I think once you learn the mental, <coughs> the mental side of the game and uh, really focusing on taking it one day at a time instead of worrying about the, uh, the end result, uh, I think you have a lot more success. Uh, great advice, great thoughts from Michael Blazek of the Brewers on what it takes, mental focus being the key as he came up through the minors to get ready for the majors, as we've already discussed. He's faced some of the toughest hitters in baseball, so he knows what he's talking about, folks. Process is essential, not results. That's pretty universal in life, so pay attention to that. Webcams are getting fired up as people get a chance to join us here in the chatting cage. While the webcams get going, let's go to Twitter. Bigfoot129 wants to know, I like this one, what is your favorite baseball movie? Uh, favorite baseball movie, probably 61. Oh, right. Um, with... You know, it's the the story about you know Maris hitting the sixty first home run. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I think I well, the first time I watched it, I was just locked in on it, and you know, it just kind of just kind of grew on me. <clears throat> you know, I, I grew up a Yankees fan, so you know, I was a little more intrigued by it, I guess. Um, uh, you know, but any baseball movie that's you know got some historical background to it is probably a little more enticing to me than. Than just you know any other baseball movie, but I mean I will say the Sandlot is definitely up there. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite baseball movies as well. Uh, Sandlot is excellent. Uh, sadly for many of us, that's not as historical as some of the other movies are that we yeah. talk about. But uh, Sandlot and Sixty One, that's a great yeah. duel. That's a great afternoon of baseball yeah. movies right there if you're watching them and yeah. you get the full spectrum. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> that's how we spend some time. That's an excellent answer too. That's Sixty One doesn't get a lot of respect often in the big baseball movie conversation. So it's uh, no, it. it it, it doesn't, man, and I, I wanted it to a little to be a little bigger than it was, I guess, but it didn't really pan out like it did. I, 
Well, hopefully. Not many people know about it. I know. Well, now people, we're, you know, we're on the internet. Go figure out what 61 is. It's a yeah. great movie. You'll enjoy it. Another fan has yeah. joined us in the case. What's your name? Where are you from? What's your question? Hi, I'm Ben from Connecticut, and my question is, what's your favorite thing about Milwaukee? Uh, you know, Milwaukee's different than, than I'm used to. You know, I'm from Las Vegas, and I was born and raised there. Uh, I spent you know, my whole life on the western coast of the United States, so... You know, being in the Midwest and in the North Midwest, like in Milwaukee, it's it's just different with the weather. You know, I think last year it was the coldest I've ever been in my life when it was like minus 10. Uh, so it was interesting to get used to. But I mean, the, the city's nice because it's small. You know, being from a big city like Vegas, it's, you know, it's kind of easy to get lost. Um, but, you know, Milwaukee's a smaller town and their fan base is really great. You know, they... They know who everyone is, so um, you know it's nice to be able to to go out and and you know be admired instead of not knowing who anybody is. There you have it, folks. Uh, a Nevada native talking about Milwaukee and the differences there. We'll get to more conversations about that. That's a pretty big dichotomy. We'll get to that later in the show. This is the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. I'm JB. That's Michael Blazik of the Brewers. If you just joined us, great picture there in Milwaukee. Fans, get your webcam fired up like this fan. <laughs> Get your question like this, fan, too. What's your name? Where you're from? What's your question? Um, and I was just wondering, because, Blazik, you participated in the Bowl-a-thon this past weekend. So I was just wondering what other things you enjoyed doing during the offseason. Ah, uh, well, bowling is definitely not my strong suit. Um, <laughs> found that out pretty quick after the first game. Uh, I didn't even break 70. Uh but the second game, I did a lot better. Um, other than that, I, I spent a lot of time playing video games. Um, I think it's one of the things that we can do to kind of take our mind off of the game and, and keep us from going crazy. <laughs> um, but right now, we have a um, you know, big competition with everyone playing, you know, whatever it is. Rory McIlroy, I think right now, is the game that everyone's playing. Um, but, yeah, that's something I like to do is play video games. It takes takes my mind off what I'm doing out here um, golfing um, other than that just kind of relaxing uh, that's a pretty good uh, roundabout way lots of good hobbies there bowling you just have to improve in the off season maybe although uh, I'm not sure <laughs> what the bowling contract situation is there so maybe be careful your shoulder is of great import we talked yeah, about it a little yeah. bit before we'll talk more now the EDJ question of the day has a little bit to do with where you're from and where you're playing right now would you rather play in extreme heat Michael, or an extreme cold? Uh, you know, I think growing up in the heat, I'm, I'm used to it. Um, I, I realize that the hotter it is, the easier it is to get loose. Mm. Um, but for me personally, I, I think I would rather pitch in the cold, which is kind of weird because um, it's harder to get loose and it's harder to throw. But at the same time, I know the hitters don't really want to swing when it's freezing cold outside. <laughs> So if you're able to throw pitches where you want it, they're not really going to want to swing at it because if they can't put the <laughs> barrel on it, it's going to hurt. Um, so I'd rather take my chances with it being really cold. Uh, I like that. I like that strategy, too. You know the weather's in your favor. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Excellent. That's the EDJ question of the day. We continue. This is the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. Michael Blazek of the Brewers. I'm JB. You're the fans. Get your webcam fired up. Join us right here on this screen that you're looking at right now. I'll go back to Twitter while we wait for you to do that. Since we talked about hitters you've already faced on opposing rosters, uh, let's give your teammates some shout-outs here. This is from uh, at 4 joe 4 joe Who is a hitter on the Brewers you would least like to face? Uh, right now, probably Parra because he's raking. Um, he's hitting everything. <laughs> you know, he's, he's probably a guy that would be really tough to get out. Um, you know, other than that, probably, you know, I, I maybe Gomez, probably Gomez, just because of the swings he takes are, are ginormous <laughs> and <laughs> comes out of his shoes on every swing. Um, so I know if he just connects on one of those balls, it's just going to go really far and <laughs> might not land. So I, I don't know if I'd want to be the pitcher that hasn't, that hasn't happened to him. Para and Gomez swinging from the shoes. Bernie Brewer might be busy uh, on a day like that. That's, uh. So funny to discuss that in the way he, yeah. he, he talks about that. <laughs> this is the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. I'm JB. Get your webcam fired up. Join us here in the cage. Get your question. Get some FaceTime 
with your favorite players like Michael. We got a fan with us now. What's your name? Where you're from? What's your question? How you doing? This is Tim from Green Bay, and uh, Michael, who did you idolize growing up? Uh, you know, in uh, growing up, I was a position guy. You know, I played shortstop, second base, caught. You know, I didn't pitch very much. Um, you know, so growing up, my my favorite player growing up was probably Derek Jeter. Um, again, you know, a Yankee fan growing up, so it was kind of easy to, to, to you know, want to root for, for Jeter. But um, we only really got Yankee games and Braves games back at home on TV, so I was, you know, really big at watching both of those two teams. Uh, my favorite pitcher growing up, though, was Kerry Wood. Um, he was a guy that I wanted to be like if I ever did pitch. Um, you know, so probably Jeter and, and, uh, and Kerry Wood. That's some great insights and a great duo as well to grow up looking up to those yeah. two guys. They both did their jobs really, really well. That wraps up. That's it. Uh, Michael, how you feeling? Do you feel like you did good? Normally, pitchers don't spend a lot of time in the cage. you feel like you did okay in the cage today? Yeah, I feel like I did pretty good. I think you did great. <laughs> thank you for taking time out. I know the fans were stoked and excited yeah. to be a part of it. I want to thank you, as always. Yeah, no problem, man. Thanks for having me. And fans, I want to thank you, as always, for making the Edward Jones Chatting Cage one of the best pieces of the internet that we can find. I'm JB, and we'll see you on the next round of the Edward Jones Chatting Cage.